Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FIFA 21 video where today I'm going to be sharing with you my new 4-4-1-1 custom tactics. This is probably the formation that I'm going to be using this weekend league and the tactics regarding the 4-4-1-1. I built myself quite a nice Serie A sort of Premier League hybrid. You know, I'm a big Serie A fan. Watch probably the Serie A more than any other league in football. So I built myself a nice Serie A attack that I can take into weekend league. Obviously, Wanting to get that team of the season, Ronaldo, in the team. And this is one of my favourite formations in the game. So with this potentially being one of the last weekends that I'm going to play weekend league this year in FIFA 21, uh, I'm going to use a formation that I like and some players that I like. So regarding the tactics for this formation that I'm going to take into this weekend league. Now naturally, I think this weekend is probably going to be quite a sweaty weekend league um, with ultimate team of the season and uh, some big cards potentially being on the line. I think you're going to get a lot of people playing quite sweaty. But for me, I'm just going to play my own style and uh, I, I'm going to get whatever I get at the end of the day. So I'm going to be playing on defensive style with balance because uh, balance is just the best way to play, it, in my opinion. I don't really have much success using the other ways. Um, so I'm just going to stick to balance defensive width. Again, I'm going to stay on around about five. I don't really, haven't really all year found any benefit for changing this too much. In terms of the defensive width, I'm going to be playing on seven. Um, I think sort of 8, 9, 10 is going to be a little bit too high, especially if everybody's going to be really sweaty. I can imagine a lot of people are going to be playing on like 2 or 3 or something. Everyone's just going to be playing really deep. I'm going to be playing on 7, trying to go as high as I can without being too aggressive and pulling my team team apart too much. So 7 is going to work for me. Fast build-up works extremely well for this formation. I've had so much success using fast build-up with the 4-4-1-1. It works well because the midfielders, the left and right mid strikers, they're all pretty close together. And as I said, all year long, the formations that it works best in are the ones that are kind of the most compact, um, especially compact in an attacking sense. And this is definitely one of the best formations for that. Offensive width, we're going on 10. It is going to mean our midfield does get stretched a little bit, but I'm doing it mainly because I want to keep those left and right midfielders as wide as possible when attacking because I'm going to want my left and right midfielders to hug the touchline and really pull up, pull apart those people that play, um, who, are, who are potentially going to be playing on, for example, three depth, and they're going to be playing on really low width. So I'm going to counter that by playing really, really wide, because then that's going to force their team to open up and get out and obviously try and press my wingers. So it's going to force them to get out of that defensive shape, and then that's going to allow me to obviously uh, play through them with the fast build-up. And obviously the, the, the play style, the way that I play FIFA, it's going to allow me to just take those people apart and it's just going to work super, super well. So if you play to the strengths of the formation and the way we've set the tactics up, you can have massive success with it. And then players in the box, corners and free kicks, the standard stuff I like to use with all of my formations. So then moving on to the instructions, Yashin in goal is on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper as always. Yashin, brilliant goalkeeper. I've had massive success with him since doing him. Definitely well worth recommending if anybody hasn't. I've had huge success with him. In terms of the defenders, all of my defenders are on stay back while attacking, of course, including the fullbacks. And all of them are on conservative interceptions because, again, um, especially with this weekend being the way it is, a lot of people are going to be playing really sweaty. A lot of people are going to be tryharding. And a lot of people are going to be abusing all sorts of mechanics and as much meta as they can to try and win as much as they can. So to counter that, um, I really can't afford my defenders especially to be sort of jumping into tackles and potentially getting out of position. So I've got them on conservative inceptions, so they're not going to be sort of jumping and lunging into tackles that they can't win. And uh, obviously if you get out of position, most people now have team of the season teams and 99 pace players and stuff. So if you get out of position, you're not going to be able to catch them. So I really can't afford my defenders to be jumping into tackles and potentially missing. So conservative interceptions for all of my defenders. In terms of my two midfielders, Nangolan and Dalglish, interestingly, I've dropped into midfield. Just want a little bit more attacking thrust in the midfield. Uh, Dalglish is kind of there more for chemistry, more than uh, actually having a striker at centre midfield. He's just there for chemistry reasons because I haven't got anyone that could fit in there for chemistry. But your two midfielders, primarily, regardless of who they are, want to be players that are probably better attacking than they are defending, but they want to have some defensive quality. Someone like Nain Golan is perfect. Obviously, is very reliable going forwards attacking, but also can do some defensive duty because they're going to need to be able to do a little bit of both. Hence why they're on balanced attack, because they are going to be getting forwards um, and supporting the attack, but they are going to be staying back and doing some defending in certain situations as well. 
stay on edge of the box there just to counter the counter so to speak so if you lose possession they're there to stop the counter rather than getting them in the box other than that pretty much the standard stuff for Nain Golan and Dalglish your two central midfielders in terms of your wide midfielders Insigne and Lozano for me both on balanced defensive support both both on basic don't want them on comeback uh, because I want them as part of the attack and with you know we don't need them doing the defensive duty because we have Trent and Shaw back so uh, a lot of people will probably be having their wide mids and stuff on comeback on defense like I said everybody's going to be playing really sweaty this weekend but I'm going to play to my strengths and let everybody else do what they want to do in terms of chance creation you want the two wide players on balanced width and not on cut inside again because if you have them on cut inside that's going to go against the 10 width that we set on the tactics so you want them to have on balanced width so they stay wide now you don't want them on stay wide because you don't want them to get stuck out there um, you do want them to get involved in the build-up play that's what the fast build up is for you don't want them to just get trapped out on the wing um, but you do want them to be on balanced width so sometimes they'll stay wide and then sometimes for the build-up they'll they'll get involved and uh, they'll get in on the inside their main job is to stay wide and pull out the uh, defenders and then potentially give and goes on the wing then you look for cutbacks or crosses into the box that's the way i'm going to play with this formation and then get in behind of course um because we do want to make those runs in behind once we've extracted that space from the opponent then obviously you want them running in behind and obviously with their their immense pace they should be able to do that relatively easily and then cristiano ronaldo and immobile up front both on the uh, the same instructions both on stay central both on getting behind and both on stay forward. I think that's just the best way to play with these two. Stay forward works really well with two strikers. Doesn't really work with one. So I'm going to use Immobile and Ronaldo both as strikers. I love you. I love Chiro Immobile. I think he's brilliant. I've got a great goal to game ratio. And Ronaldo obviously is Ronaldo. He's the best player in the game. So uh, these two should bang goals for me. Regardless of what you think of, of someone like Immobile. For me, he bangs goals. He does amazing. Both these guys on stay forwards. Um, it just works really, really well. I know that's probably the only thing about this formation that you could say is meta or a bit rat or whatever you want to call that we have them on stay forward. But I think it works really, really well. And it suits well for the the two strikers that we've got. And it suits well for the formation. Because then if you just leave one of them on stay forward, for example, uh, it's pointless. If You've got to do the same thing with both of them because then they can, use, they can work together as a partnership. Um, if you just do one of them on stay forward and one of them on basic... You know, let's say you leave Ronaldo on uh, on stay forward and you put Immobile on basic. Ronaldo's just going to be left up there by himself and he's not going to be able to do anything by himself. So I've left uh, Immobile on stay forward as well. So he's got a partner to work with and then the rest of the team gets involved and we create lots of chances from there. But these tactics are the ones I'm going to be using for this weekend league in the ultimate team of the season they've been really successful for me all throughout team of the season so there's no reason why they shouldn't work for me during team of the season the final team of the season and potentially the last weekend league that most people are going to play it's going to be a really sweaty one so make sure you've got your game plans and stuff set to deal with that if you are someone that is playing but that is all for today's video guys so if you did enjoy do drop a thumbs up do subscribe as well if you are new to the channel but that is all for today guys have an awesome day i'm out